Hi all, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'm just going to go over setting up your Half-Life 2 game with ENV in Suite FX or Reshade in Suite FX, followed by adding the 4 gigabyte patch and setting your heap size in order to recognize the extra RAM being used. And I'll just go over some alternate presets that you can actually use with the EMB or the reshade in Suite FX. So to start you want to download the files that you'll need and you can get the EMB in Suite Effects here at ModDB by just clicking the download now or you can go to Nexus Mods and you can get the EMB with Suite FX or the reshade with Suite FX here. Once you've downloaded the file that you'll need, I'll just start with the reshade with Suite FX. You want to open that up, minimize your browser, and then go to your Steam game library. Right click on Half Life 2, select Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. Once here, you want to open the bin folder and just drag and drop the contents into the bin folder there. Once you've done that, you just want to start your game and verify that everything is working correctly. You can tell by the, you'll be able to tell because it will be running in the upper left on Game Start and you'll use the scroll lock in order to enable and disable the effects. Now if you notice that the effects aren't working, then verify that you've disabled your anti-aliasing as you'll need that turned off in order for the sweet effects settings to work correctly. If it is on, just disable it, verify that they're working. If not, then exit the game and restart with the anti-aliasing off and verify that it's working at that point. Now if everything's working correctly, then you can just exit the game and close the game folder here. If you choose to uninstall the reshade with Sweet Effects, then just go back to the game folder in the bin folder here and select the same files that you installed and just delete those out of the game folder and that uninstalls the reshade with Sweet Effects. Now for the EMB in Sweet Effects, you just want to open that download. And once you've done that, minimize your browser, go to your Steam library, right click, properties, local files, and browse local files. Drag and drop the contents of the download into your game folder here, and take the D3, D9, DLL, and drag that and drop it into the bin folder. Start your game to verify that it's working. You'll be able to tell as it will be running in the upper left on game start and you use the pause break in order to enable and disable the effects. If you notice the effects aren't working, again just verify that your anti-aliasing is off. If not, just disable that and then check to see that the effects are working. If they aren't, just restart the game with the anti-aliasing off and they should start working for you. Now just a, a few things with the EMB and Sweet Effects for troubleshooting. Now if you happen to start the game and the game crashes or the game starts but the actual graphics don't look correct, then just exit the game and go back to the game folder here and you'll alt notice this Alt D3 D9 folder. Inside it contains four folders each with an alternate D3 D9 DLL. Go to the first one here, just copy that, and then go back to the bin folder and paste that over the existing one here. Then start the game, see if the issue is corrected. If not, then just go back to that Alt D3 D9 folder and go through each one of the four here until you find the correct one. You do occasionally have to switch those due to issues, and generally one of the four will work depending on your graphics card. Now, 
if you want to actually uninstall it, just go to the game folder here, select the files that you've installed, and just delete them out of the game folder. Don't forget to go into the bin folder and delete that extra D3D9DLL out of the bin folder, and that uninstalls it from your computer. Now, I'll also show you how you can add the 4 gigabyte patch and how you can set your game so that the heap size will recognize the extra 4 gigabytes. So what you do is just go to the description here on either the Nexus mods or just check the description here on the mod DB and you'll find the 4 gigabyte patch link here or here and what you want to do is just open that up download the 4 gigabyte patch there and just open it up once you've done that go to your game folder here and just copy the address depending on um, sorry so just copy the address and then run the 4 gigabyte patch. Just paste the address here and press enter and that should bring up the game folder. And you just want to select the half light, the HL2EXE here and apply that. It will create a backup for you and that's all finished. Once you've done that, then go to your game library again, the Half-Life 2, right click, select properties, general, and set launch options. And you're going to enter this in here, which you'll actually find on the mod. And you can just copy it here and paste it into the launch option here. And that will set your heap size to 4 gigabytes so that it recognizes the 4 gigabyte patch that you've added to the game. And just say OK and launch the game normally. It will make the adjustment for you and you're all set. Now lastly, i just like to go over the alternate preset files. And the actual download here from ModDB comes with those preset files in the actual download. With Nexus mods, you download them here. Now there's one for the EMB with Sweet Effects and one for the Reshade with Sweet Effects. And I'll start with the Reshade with Sweet Effects. So I'll just put this back in quickly. So we'll just reinstall that quickly. And then I'll show you how you can use these presets. So what you do is with the reshade and sweet effects version, go to the bin folder, open up the sweet effects folder here, and you'll see the sweet effects settings text. Now just add an X onto that to change the name slightly. And then once you've downloaded and opened up the alternate presets, you'll see a previous preset folder here. Now just drag and drop that over here. Close this off. Now if you open this up, you'll see the various versions. Each one is slightly different, so you can alter between the three here and the default to see which one you prefer. So just open that up and copy the first one there and just paste that into the sweet effects folder. Now start the game and check out the preset. If you prefer that preset over the default, then when you exit the game, just close off the game folder here. Now if you don't like that preset, then just try out the next one, copy that, and paste that over the alternate that you placed in the first place.
Now try that one out and see if you like it and just go through all three there and see if you prefer any of those. If you decide that you don't like any of them and you want to go back to the default preset, then just delete the alternate there and rename the default preset back to its original name here. And that's basically it for switching between the presets if you wanted to with the reshade suite effects. And I'll just take that out quickly and I'll show you how you can do that with the E and B version. So let me just open up the E and B version here. And I'll just open up the alternate presets. So once you've installed the EMB with Suite Effects, you're just going to go to the Suite Effects here in the game folder. And you're going to open that up and go to the presets. And if you notice, the previous presets, this is from the ModDB download. It has the actual previous presets included inside the download, whereas the ENB version didn't have this folder. You have to download that separately. So if you downloaded the ModDB version, you'll find that previous presets right there. And if not, then just drag and drop the one here into the folder. And again, just rename the preset file here by adding an X to the name. Go through the various versions here. And just copy and paste that into the preset folder. And then start the game and try it out. See if you like the alternate preset. If not, just go through the alternates here copy and paste over top of the alternate here and test each one out to see if there's any that you prefer other than the default. If you prefer, prefer the default then just delete the alternate out and rename the default back to its original name. And once you do that you can just close the game folder there. And that basically covers installing the EMB and the reshade with sweet effects, as well as troubleshooting or uninstalling it from your game, alternating the various setting files, as well as adding the 4 gigabyte and the tweak to your game in order to recognize the 4 gigabyte. Now, one last thing that I like to do. And that's just add my game exe to clean mem. So I'm just going to go back into the game folder here and I'm going to copy the game exe name. Now, if you haven't used clean mem before, I will leave a link under the video in order to watch the setup video for that. Now, if you do have it installed already, you just want to Go down, start the clean mem wizard, and you're going to go to that onlys list that I would have shown you how to set up in the actual setup video for the clean mem. Click the plus and just paste the Half Life 2 EXE in there. Now, once it's added to the list, just click next and finish, and you're all set. Now, if there are any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll talk to you again.